And we have new details tonight about a fatal fire in Charleroi. Police are now asking for the public's help in finding the victim's family members. Bob Allen talked with the fire chief about the new search. When Charleroi firefighters showed up at a fire at this small home on Fallowfield Avenue rear, they found the badly burned body of 62-year-old James Harbaugh outside near a fence. My assistant chief was reporting an individual was laid out in the backyard, uh, appeared to be burnt. Uh, we concentrated on him, realized that he was deceased. Investigators think Harbaugh was inside the house but ran out after a flash fire was ignited by oxygen tanks. We're figuring something with the oxygen unit and him making entrance back into his residence. It must have been some type of spark or something that might have caused like a little flash fire or something and uh, got, you know, burn him and then flash through the first floor of the house. Officials say Harbaugh was living here with no water or gas. He had health issues and kept oxygen tanks. Paramedics treated him recently for breathing problems. He was um, a quiet man, uh, very nice to the neighborhood, always walking around, very kind to the people here, mm -hmm. and uh, he was just a good gentleman. You know, and uh, he'll be missed. Chief Whiten hopes this tragedy reminds others about the dangers of smoking near oxygen tanks. You need oxygen to, uh, to start a fire and a cigarette's a fire and don't take much to have a slight explosion or, or you know, worse than, you know, what we can think of is what happened to this fellow. What makes this story even sadder? Harbaugh has friends, but authorities say they can't find any of his family. They're hoping someone in his family will come forward so they can give him a proper burial. In Charleroi, Bob Allen, KDKA News.